to say. Ready? Okay. You're gonna be excited. You're gonna be excited and you're gonna be happy and you're gonna go, hi, I'm Anna from Miss A Crochet. And if you're new here, hello. And if you are a returning viewer, hi, how are you? Um, today is Thursday, December 14th, 1.06 p.m. And I just finished my last final. Oh crap, I forgot. Um, okay, maybe I didn't do good. I was gonna say, I think I did good. Nice, good, fine, bad. It's ASL. Speaking of ASL, Tuesday, the hearing aid, my left one was like, yeah, um, Whenever anybody talks to you or you hear anything, I'm just gonna like spike the sound and like pierce your ear with these sound waves. Luckily, it didn't really happen until after the strings recital, but it still sucks. So yesterday, when I was supposed to be crocheting all day, I went to Minnetonka. I tried on a, like a rental or like a spare one from like my audiologist and I hated it because it's obviously it was a newer brand but like switching between brands is like I guess like the only thing I could equate it with is like you used to be colorblind or you are you're not colorblind right now and then all the colors switch like it sounds completely different the atmosphere is super different my own voice sounds different my parents voices sound different which is really really weird and like like weird to me because like my whole perception of the hearing world has changed so I didn't use the loner one. I dropped off the left one to get repaired and I am living life with one hearing aid. We'll see what happens, but that's been what's that's been what's going on. That's what's been going on. Luckily, I don't really have anything until I have my market this Saturday, December 16th at well it doesn't really matter because it will have already happened, I think, by the time I post this. Maybe. Um, it's at another cheerleading competition. Uh, it's an 8 a.m. to a 2 p.m. market. My like deposit was only 50 bucks and there are going to be 35 schools competing there. So I think I'm set, except for the fact that I'm not set because right now I have 105 items that are completed and ready to be sold. That's not a lot. So, I'm going to crochet 45 items in less than 48 hours for this market. Do you think I can do it? I feel like I can only because I have 15 whips and that's already a third. If I finish those 15 whips, then I only have to make 30 items. So, the whips that I have to finish are one mushy pop. I have the top of it started. Um, a star a penguin, five chickens, and five turtles. I think I can do that. I think I can complete them all by, I don't know when, I was gonna, I was gonna make up a number and be like 5 p.m. But when I say 5 p.m. then I'm already like, eh, it's already one. That gives me four hours and 50 minutes. Not even. That doesn't even give me four hours and 50 minutes. That gives me three hours and 50 minutes. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But I'm gonna try. I wanna finish these whips. I want to crochet some cats and dogs because when I have my chickens, people that have chickens loved the chickens because they were like, that's my chicken. And I was like, cool, I should do cats and dogs. Except for the fact that there are not a lot of no so, low so, small, quick makes, and cute dog or cat patterns. So I was like searching for them. Black Friday, I bought like three different cat patterns. I just bought the Happy Farm eight no so amigurumi toy patterns um, from Green Frog Crochet. They have a cow, a chicken, chicks, which I think would be really cute with my Mabel chickens, uh, alpaca, 
a sheep, a dog, a pig, and a goat. But when I was showing my friend, my friend was like, well, you could just manipulate the pig pattern to be a cat. So I think once I finish all my whips, because I know if I start new stuff, I'll never finish these, I will then begin to crochet the new inventory and the dogs and cats like I've been wanting to. But as of now, I'm going to finish my mushroom. I need my hook. Because I'm a hooker. A naughty, naughty hooker. Currently, I have seven of these mushy pops by Cable and Canvas made. I made two red, two yellow, two dark teal. Uh, this is gonna, I'm gonna have two of these and then two dark pink. So I'm gonna have eight once I finish this. I bought keychains. I'm trying to figure out the price for the Mushy Pops because when I do the price, I think it turns out like $7.80. So and I was just gonna do $8. But with my whales, it comes out as $7.50. And then I bump it up to eight as well. So I don't know if it's just easier to have like a bunch of things we ate or do I increase the price of these because they take a little bit longer. But my pricing calculator is accurate. I don't know. I hate pricing. It's like my least favorite thing to do. Just kidding. Um, untangling yarn is my least favorite thing to do because you know. <laughs> you know. If you're here, you know why. Um, this isn't working and it's making me upset. I pretty much have this pattern memorized almost. So I'm actually gonna stay here and talk to you um, instead of like do a time lapse or um, just not talk to you while I crochet some of the other things. But I have this one pretty memorized. I've been making them for like the last three days when I have free time between classes and finals and things like that. So I think I will be good, other than the fact that I didn't write down anything to talk about. Immediately what my mind is going to is ceramics. I should show you my ceramic whale shark that I finished. I finished it. I don't like the glaze. The glaze, um, because I didn't dip it, it didn't react. I'm using the wrong hook. Oh, that could have been bad. Um, because I didn't dip it, the glaze didn't do the reaction that I wanted it to do. So now it's just kind of like, it's not like, it looks watered down. Like parts of it have some green. And when I posted it on Instagram and like when I showed my friends and family, they were like, oh my God, it looks so cool. It looks like it's like underwater and that's the water's reflections on it. But I really wanted it to have its polka dots like these guys. So I'm not very happy with it, like, the glaze-wise. But I'm very happy. And I really thought that I could crochet and talk at the same time. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like, the weight of it. It's it's really, I mean, I think it's really lightweight. Um, That's, like, a big thing in ceramics. It's, like... It looks like it's gonna be heavy, but then like, because you trim so much off, it's lightweight and it's just iconic. Um, I think the whale shark is really lightweight and it's made really well. I mean, other than the fact that the glaze sucks and the super white slip is chipping off because when you do super white slip, you're supposed to do a clear top coat on top, but I obviously didn't do that because I didn't want it to stick to the kiln shelf. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I brought it home. None of my stuff broke on the way home, thank God. I would have been devastated. I just realized that I forgot to put on the white speckles. So I'm going to do a little intermission. Do you know what I hate? <laughs> I say that to my mom all the time. Do you know what I hate? I hate it when the ends of your velvet yarn or whatever start to fray like before or after you cut them or while you're sewing. It's the worst. I hate it more than manufacturer's knots, and that's saying something. I have the right hook now. I'm putting the needle away because I'm terrified my dogs will eat it. Though most likely my dogs would eat like a stitch marker or something, or my cat would just beat the yarn. My cat enjoys um, sitting with me when I crochet. Um, she thinks it's very fun and that whenever, you know, the yarn moves when I pull it, uh, that's for her to play with. It's not. <laughs> I have to be like, no! And then I cut her a little piece of yarn and like tie it on something so that it hangs down and she can play with it. No yarn for kitties. 
Speaking of which, I haven't really talked about my dogs very much here. I have a French Bulldog Paisley. She's eight. She is a brindle. Yeah, brindle. And then I have my cat, Violet. I think she is five or six. I got her when I was 16. And then I have Mabel, our frog, French Bulldog Pug. She is fawn. She is two. Yeah, she's two. I think she's gonna be three in like April or May. We got a letter in the mail that said that they were like, oh, happy birthday, Mabel, but it was in November. But when we bought her was in August and she was only like three months then. It was weird and we were like, there's no way that's her birthday because either she wouldn't have been alive or she would have been almost, she would have been 10 months when we bought her and she was not 10 months old. It was weird. That's my three pets. We used to have two pugs, um, but they passed away two years ago in August. Um, hence why Mabel is literally two years old and we got her in August because we were all sad and depressed. Um, but yeah, we had two pugs, Trixie and Xavier. And then my cat, we got for my 16th birthday a couple months after my five-year-old orange cat um Jackson died from a seizure <laughs> this is just sad um he died while I was at school but it was the last it was the second to last day before the end of school so that really sucked um and then before him we had Fatty which was a was he Persian I don't remember what he was I don't know he was like a Persian he was beautiful and he was super old I think he was like 17 or 18 that would cut that could track um i think he was like 17 or 18 when he died but those are all the pets that we've had well we also had a bunch of fish and then i also had a hamster when i was young um but then it died while we were on vacation in mexico that was sad <laughs> yeah but we had a bunch of fish we got rid of the fish um but yeah those are the pets those are all the pets that i've ever had <laughs> uh do you have any pets i know i'm trying to think I know Cameron's Cute Creations has a cute dog whose name I can't think of. That's going to really bother me that I can't think of the dog's name. I know Katie being creative just got a dog this year. Bruno. Was that his name? Bruno? I can't remember people's pets names. I also can't really remember like people's names. I just know like Cameron, Cameron's Cute Creations, Katie, Katie being creative. I was thinking it would be really cute to have like different dog breeds or like different cat colors um, because I don't know, people are obsessed with their pets and then to have a plushie that looks like their pet, that would be cool. At that market, people were like, oh my gosh, I have a chicken. This looks just like, you know, whatever her name was, like Ginger or something. Um, that's my aunt's chicken's name. <laughs> uh, what does she have? She has the Spice Girls. She has Ginger. I feel bad for not remembering them. Car no, I don't know. I don't remember my aunt's chickens names. I'm sorry, Kelly. Um, they are very cute though. They're called the Spice Girls and they're named after spices. <laughs> I just remember Ginger because I think that was one of the first ones that was laying eggs for her, but I also could be wrong. I love that I say that I have the pattern memorized, but then I still have to like cross off which row I've done. Safety eye time. I hate placing safety eyes. I I really, 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 really struggled with it my first, probably the first entire year. They looked okay, and then you secured them on, and then you stuffed it, and now they look like shit. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what it is. Um, but right now, I've been doing pretty okay with these guys, but also because I usually just have them next to me, so I know what they should look like. Put these guys' eyes kind of closer together just because I think they look silly and they're small. Um, I don't know why I have to do this every time. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I need? Okay, I need your recommendation, but I also like need, I need your recommendation on something that I need. What are the things that people use to secure safety eyes? What are those called? And if you have one, which do you like? 
because I don't know why. I think probably because I rip all my nails off and then my fingers are like raw and brittle. Um, putting on these six millimeter safety guys is not fun. It's painful and I don't like it. So if you know like what I'm talking about, what it's called, and if you have one, let me know. I am in the market. Um, I just don't really know or understand how they're used or like what qualifies a good one from a bad one, if there are even any bad ones. I mean, I feel like it's not like that complicated of a, of a thing, but I feel like it could really help me. I could add it to my Christmas list because my parents have been harassing me. They're like, what do you want? And I've been trying to email like all these tattoo people, which reminds me that I need to email another person trying to get in for a tattoo and I'm ghosted. And I get it. I have like the design I already want, but it's not from Pinterest. Like I literally said, this is from a wallpaper. It's a memorial tattoo for my grandma. I traced the rabbit from the wallpaper and then I drew in the lily of the valley. Like obviously it has sentimental meaning. It's not just me being like, I like this tattoo and I want you to give me the exact same tattoo. That's like literally a picture of it on somebody's skin already. Please. Please, I have, be reasonable. I designed my shoulder tattoo. I want this because it's obviously based on the wallpaper. My voice is already gone and I don't think it's been, it might, it might have been 30 minutes already, but yeah. So I have two tattoos. Do you guys have tattoos? I know, who do I know that has tattoos? I know J Baby Designs has some epic tattoos. Um, go check her out on Instagram. She just had a baby girl. Yeah, I don't remember the name, but she is an icon. She has epic tattoos that I'm very envious of. I think she has two sleeves. I could be lying, but I know she has tattoos. I know Cameron's Cute Creations has a tattoo of... What is that dog's name? It's going to bother me, but I don't want to look it up because I don't want to give in. She has a tattoo... Refined Vibes has a bunch of tattoos. I think she's documented getting tattoos in her crochet vlogs, which is a sleigh. I'm trying to think of who else that I watch or that I... Oh, Katie Bean Creative has a tattoo. I think she has one like right here. I just want tattoos in South Dakota when I was 17. And then, yeah, two years ago, we went and got tattoos for my cousin's fiance's bridal party whatever thing with our side of the family so then I did end up getting a tattoo I've been wanting this memorial tattoo since before I even got this one so it needs to happen um I've been like trying to figure out the placement for years I'm thinking of getting it right here um I also want to get another tattoo my grandpa um just died in July. I think it was like July 31st um, in July and I want to get a memorial tattoo for him because like obviously I'm getting I'm gonna get one for his wife like I feel like I should probably get one for him too. Also I I, I genuinely want to get one <laughs> not just because like oh it's fair like no I, I, I want one like obviously it was my grandpa. I know winter is the best time to get tattoos and piercings and I also really want more piercings but your girl I mean she, I'm not broke but I'm also saving up. I might be going to Costa Rica. I don't know I haven't decided yet. I have a while a little bit of a while to decide if I'm gonna go. It's a, again through my um, college's music program. I would be going with the same professor, but with different people. And I wanna make sure I'm going with at least one person that I really, really know and like really like. <laughs> Cause last year I went with five other people that I really liked and that made it super fun. So I want to make sure that I have at least one person that I can like room with and that, that I vibe with because that's important. <laughs> so I'm either, I'm trying to save my money for that and also just paying for school. Paying for going to a private school. Yeah, that's, and then staying an extra year. This is my senior year. Not really. I was high school class of 2020. So I got screwed out of graduation. I just went to um, St. Cloud State for like a year and a half. Um, everything was online pretty much. The last semester that I had there, two weeks before it started, they canceled orchestra. And I mean, we didn't have orchestra. We had like four people, including me, but they canceled it. And I needed, I need eight semesters of orchestra. 
and so then my my violin professor there and I and she was like you got to go like this is obviously not the place for you and I was already very very unhappy there um there was no strings program I made no friends whatsoever I transferred I'm now at this school it's a private school which is freaking expensive but the opportunities are incredible and I have made a ton of friends. Um, I have like a new bestie. Don't worry, other bestie, you're still my bestie. It's so much better. I'm super happy there. And the opportunities are obviously incredible. Like to go to Peru last May and then to have the opportunity to go to Costa Rica um, this May is awesome. I mean, of course I have to pay, but I mean, for the price that it is to pay and then like I don't have to plan the trip. I just have to go. So I think it's worth it. But I also want to make sure that it's worth it in like who I'm going with and who I'm traveling with. Because obviously if you're traveling with somebody that isn't fun or, you know, that you don't really know very well, it can make the trip not as fun. So we'll see what happens. I finished my first of 45 plushies. <laughs> Mushy Pop, Cable Canvas, ca ca Cable and Canvas okay i already <laughs> i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do a time lapse and i'm gonna finish my five chickens and watch cameron's cute creations because she just i think did the same thing that i'm doing uh she has a new video where she has a market in i think two days as well and uh, she is market prepping. So I'm gonna watch her steal her ideas. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna steal her techniques of, of staying productive because I'm already feeling like, uh, I don't really want to. 106 items is enough, right? No, I'm going to, I have the hiccups. I just ate a bagel and now I have the hiccups. Um. I'm going to finish at least the stuff that I've started. So I think I'm going to turn on the time lapse. We're gonna vibe. And I'm going to finish five Oak and Marlowe Maple chickens and then maybe even make some more. Can you tell I really don't wanna finish these turtles? Is that so bad? I just hate. I hate finishing them because I hate making their heads. Trying to place the eyes is not my favorite at all. Like stuffing, placing eyes and sewing, literally all like three quarters of crochet projects, I hate. <laughs> but I love crocheting so much, so I will suffer. But I think I'm gonna do the chickens, get myself feeling productive and then just like keep going. It is chicken time. Okay, it's officially 3.44 p.m. and I have made, well, I finished three cream chickens and two Oreo chickens. And now I'm going to finish making my turtles. I don't want to, but I will because they sold out last time, so I need to. Okay. Okay. I finished two turtles. So I have officially made eight things and it is 513. I have to make three cream turtle heads for the for these three. And then I have to make two small fins. So I think I'm gonna do the two small fins so then I'll have three turtles without heads and then I'll make all three heads. And then I will assemble these three getting me up to 11. That sounds right. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> is 9 38 p.m i've um completed all my works and progresses so let's go through 
and see what I've made. So number one, mushy pop. I have two, three Oreo chickens. Two Oreo chickens, so that's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Am I, wait, did I not count it right? Why did I think I had 15 whips? I had 13. I mean, I have a turtle shell, so technically I could finish the turtle tonight. But <laughs> I thought I was going to be a third of the way done and I'm not yet. Anyways, I finished um, 13 of my whips. I have no clue how I thought I would be able to finish that by five o'clock because these turtles uh, took me forever to make and finish. But now I have four more to bring, which makes me really excited. No, okay. My numbers, my, my brain and numbers are not working today. I have five more turtles and now five more chickens to bring, which is very exciting because they were uh, some of my best sellers in my last market. And then the turtles were my best seller at the previous market as well. So now I don't really want to make another turtle. I mean, I will probably tomorrow, but I don't really want to today. I want to start something new, but what? I don't know. I have two cat patterns. I have Sleepy Potato Cat by Sleepy Fox Treasures. And then I have Flat Flat Cat by Ami Mom Doll. And I don't know which I want to make. The one by Ami Mom Doll uses really weird abbreviations. At least they don't use English abbreviations. They use X, V, A, and C, well, no, and C, H is chain. But I had to translate it and I'm a little bit scared of how it's going to turn out because of the abbreviations and just like me not knowing what I'm doing. Also, I kind of want to make the Sleepy Potato Cat because that also looks easy. Yeah, that one's low so as well. So like, why would I just not, why would I not not do that? You know what I mean? I think I'm going to go and then just crochet and then I will check in with you tomorrow, December 15th, the day before my market. Good morning, Vietnam. Is that insensitive? It's from a movie. <laughs> um, it is 10.01 a.m. December 15th, Friday. And last night, after I left you, I made a cat. Um, this is flat flat cat ami gurumi pattern by ami mom doll i feel like i already told you this information my mini review of the pattern the biggest row is 35 stitches around and it's only this big granted i did use a 2.5 millimeter hook and bernat velvet i think this is probably the biggest i would want it i would not do it with bernat blanket i think that would be huge because well this is 30. I don't love it. I changed the tail so it was easier. It's okay. I learned a very good no sew ear technique so I'm not mad because I did buy the pattern. I just am not in love for like markets because it took me forever. But this is item number 14. 14 out of 45. Yeah. <laughs> I um, am actually coming in this now with a plan. Are you ready for my plan? As of right now, I have a baby blue, a baby mint, a baby navy, and a baby pink whale. Um, so I'm going to make a baby navy, a baby blue, baby pink, two purple, two dark teal, and a mint. I thought I had two mint. I could be lying, but I'll add it to the list anyways. I'm going to make eight whales, eight baby whales, four of my um, Bernat Velvet Crabs. Shout out to, I am not prepared for this video. Shout out to Caitlin Church um, for reminding me that I have a 20 minute crab pattern. <laughs> so I'm gonna make um, four Bernat Velvet Crabs, which bumps us up to 12. Yeah, I'm going to make 
four brunette velvet leggy froggies and then four neon froggies four brunette velvet froggies from not jaded co which bumps us to 18 20 to 20. I really want to make some cute little like fruits or vegetables so I think I'm going to make two cherries, two peas, um, two eggs, that's not a fruit or vegetable, uh, two strawberries, two pickles, and then I have to make a cozy, the cozy stitches, penguin and mallard, because I already have three penguins, well now I have four penguins finished and two mallards finished, but I never weighed the yarn or timed myself, so I have no clue how to price them. So I have to make two of those, and I believe in total that would put me at 31 plushies, plus the 14 I made yesterday would be exactly 45. And I have, I'd say about 12 hours. I mean, maybe I'll stay up until 11, but also I need to work on my display. I got a bunch of little like chalkboards and I want to write on them. I also have to like tag all of this stuff. I think maybe, maybe, maybe I'll be able to do it only because I am going to be trying out five new patterns and sometimes new patterns just don't work very well. Like this is a really cute cat, but... It took me almost an hour, probably over an hour to make, which sucks for markets, especially for it being that small. Let me do the whales first because I can crank those out. Oh, do I want to wind this? I don't. I won't. I refuse. Baby whales, here we come. Oh, also, I would just like to say thank you all so much for the love on my last video, um, Wine Yarn and Chat With Me. A lot of people have been commenting saying that they really like the vibe, even though I think it was a little rancid. <laughs> Sorry. Personally, I really like where it's just like stream of consciousness. Okay, I like watching people talk about their crochet or talk about things instead of just crocheting and then having music because I could just listen to copyright music that I like. You know what I mean? I get it. Um, you also want to show people the process of you crocheting. So I don't really know what I'm going to do even in this video. Maybe I'm just going to be a hypocrite and have parts like that. I'm going to maybe try and do that some more. But it's also hard to talk and crochet at the same time. At least like when you're first getting started. My best friend counts like every single stitch. Like every single stitch. Um, and I kind of do, but I do it differently. I think that's the music brain in me because in my music brain, like I'll be like, if I have a measure of rest, I'll go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, you know, and so on. But my friend will go like, if it's a round of one single crochet and then increase, she'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, where I go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and like so on. So let me know, do you count or you do the pattern? Cause I do the pattern. Um, and then like, if it just ends on the wrong thing, I'll be like, shit. Um, okay. I'll go fix it. But she like counts and like does the math and I don't do that. <laughs> That's too much brain power for me. But also, I think that's why we're different people. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I, I do. I just do the pattern, uh, which makes it kind of easier to do other things. I think she maybe struggles with like crocheting and watching other things. And then I think that's why now she doesn't really do amigurumi. She does some, but now she does a lot of blankets because she can just count and it's a lot easier than having to like look and then think of the thing and then do the math in your head. That's crazy. She's crazy. I love you, but you're crazy. Question. I ask all these questions and you guys are probably all like, bro, I already commented. Like, I don't want to keep commenting and answering your questions. Do you cut your yarn or do you rip it? My friend Macy, when we were hanging out yesterday, yesterday, see again with the winking, um, she ripped her yarn and I was like, Oh, I forgot that we could do that. So now I've just been doing that and I like it, but it also sometimes hurts my hands. So I don't really know. Back loop only with a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook 
and velvet yarn. Not the vibe. I was having the same issue with the marshmallow cat this morning when I was trying to finish it. It was not happening. Whale, whale, whale. I've been wanting to make like little card or thing, card or things, cards and things to like give out with the amigurumi. Like I have one for the octopi that's I'm a little octo word. Uh, the shrimp are I shrimply adore you. And then for the crabs, I have just a little crabby, but I made them kind of small and i don't know people like i've offered to like give them to people and they're kind of like meh because i think they're just buying it for themselves they're not buying it as a gift where i think as a gift it would be really funny there was one girl at my very first market and she wanted to get a crab for her mom because i had a little sign that said i'm just a little crabby and i thought that was really funny so i gave her the little thing to go with it <laughs> i don't know do you guys do funny little signs or things like i know like my sign that says, look at all those chickens is a really big hit. This is terrible. There, There's some like conglomerate or something on Amazon that sells crochet items. And like there's an emotional support pickle, a potato, a tomato, and they come and they have like arms that hold the signs. And I think that's really cute. Not all my stuff has arms. I think that's funny and clever. I just don't really know how to execute that. I'm thinking about maybe going live on Instagram today. I've never gone live on Instagram, but I feel like it could be really fun. I'm also thinking about maybe going live on YouTube, or I don't know if there's a way to like do both at the same time. I guess I just don't really know where like the live stream culture is. I know Cameron's Cute Creations does Weave In Wednesday, but I know Refined Vibes live streams on YouTube. Emmy Sue Designs does some on uh, Instagram. I want to, but also I'm scared because <laughs> I feel like when you go on live, you're actually not productive. You're just more like interacting with people. So maybe I will go live on a different day. All right, I'm already on my last row of this turtle of this whale. It's so small. I love it. I don't know why I have a British voice now. That's not British. Is it British? I don't know. I am not good at doing accents other than my own. <laughs> not good at doing accents other than my own because everywhere we go, well, at least in the U.S. Now, in Peru, people didn't know I was from Minnesota. They just knew I was from the U.S. But like we were in Colorado, Colorado, and a guy was like, it was shop owner was talking to us and we were like oh my gosh we love your shop like this is our first time in colorado and he's like where are you guys from and we're like oh we're from minnesota and he's like yeah you are <laughs> uh, he was also originally from minnesota too but he was like yeah i, I could have guessed that <laughs> i was like oh god boat bag i don't know what are the other words that we say that's weird i think boat boat i don't know how to say boat now normally because now i'm thinking about it boat bag bag can you grab my bag? Yeah. Oh, we're going to take a ride on the boat. I don't know. Is that, do we say that weird? Does that sound weird to you? This guy could be a little bit more chonky, to be honest. Also, like, <laughs> I was showing my mom the ones that I made. And she's like, these guys are like bricks. Like, if you threw this at somebody, it would hurt. Like, I stuff them firm. But that's what I like. And I know that they will deflate over time. And so I don't want that. I'm stuffing this guy to the max. Although yesterday with my turtles, I didn't do that. And I'm proud of myself because look at how nice they look. Like you can't see my decreases. You can't see inside the stitches. I'm very happy with this, even though he could be chonkier. But I, I, I refrained because I think it's okay. <laughs> it's okay for him to not be the chonkiest he can be. But for him to look really good. I hope people like the whales. People bought my pancake whales. I have one whale that people didn't buy. I don't really, I don't know if I had it out. That was the other thing. I don't think I had it out. Um, but people liked the whales. So we'll see. I think um, because we're in Minnesota, people really like the aquatic animals. Because obviously, like, we don't have the ocean. Well, I mean, we have lakes obviously land of 10,000 lakes but we don't have whales isn't he cute I can't see I'm I'm using my phone to film and I can't see which is why I feel like I don't really look at this camera very much 
because I'm just looking at a phone camera. And so I'm like looking over here, I'm looking over there, I'm thinking, whatever. But I've had a lot of people comment and say they like that I don't just like look into the mirror or like the rear view finder, like to look at myself. So I'm really just looking at you guys. And I think it's kind of, I mean, like this is how I am. Like we're just vibing. Like this is like my friend Macy and I were hanging out Wednesday and we were just crocheting and like I was hardly looking at her, <laughs> uh, which sounds kind of mean. But it's true, I was just kind of like vibing, doing my own thing. I can't really think of anything else to talk to you about. So I think I'm gonna finish this one, come back and maybe I'll time this one. I'll time this one. I have to edit that out. <laughs> well, I didn't know if you were recording. Yeah. That's okay, I wasn't talking. I was trying to figure this out anyways. My dad just came in here and asked me for my social security number <laughs> because we're trying to figure out insurance stuff because capitalism anna you have to edit out yourself saying your social security number edit it out okay ready i don't know why i'm rushing you shouldn't rush you shouldn't rush when you're um timing yourself to see how long it makes something because you're not always going to be crocheting in a rush you're gonna be watching tv you're like chilling so don't do what i'm doing um i'm just doing this for funny I'm just doing this for funny. Okay. <laughs> I might also not talk to you a ton. <laughs> Maybe I'll voice over and talk because again, I really like listening to like podcasty ones more than like here's some ambiance music. It's just the first couple, of, the first three rows that I really have to count. And then I don't have to count during the fourth row. I have to count during the fifth. But again, don't do this. <laughs> I'm just doing this because I want to see how long it takes. Because I, I think last time I did it, it was 16 minutes. I don't think I like doing a center pull anymore. Hear me out. I'm wasting time, but whatever. Hear me out. When you do the center pull, you have to rewind it. Like, halfway through. And I, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like having to rewind it halfway through. That's annoying. I don't like winding yarn. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. But I haven't been doing the center pull lately. It has been inconsequential in the way that I crochet. So I don't really know. I might become just a caked girly with pulling from the outside because I hate having to rewind. I'm gonna edit out my self counting because I was watching a different YouTube video and they were counting in theirs and I was pissed because it kept ruining my counting. The things I do for you guys. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, seriously though, like even when I'm editing, I will try and edit out myself breathing. Is that weird? Okay, I'm like halfway done. I was watching a different, um, I can't think of her name, but she said like she edits out all of her breathing and I'm like, that's so weird. And then I started watching other people's videos and I was like, no, it's not. Everybody's doing that. So I've been trying to do that. But also, sometimes I have pauses for comedic effect or I'm jumping from a different topic. I never realize how audibly I breathe. <laughs> I think it's because I'm con like right now I'm constantly talking like there's no banter back and forth where I can like actually take a breath. So I breathe really loud and I'm like, ew, I hate that. <laughs> I'm like, that's gross. I'm gonna edit that out. But then that also takes forever. And I feel like, again, it's not as natural and it's not like it's just us hanging out. You know what I mean? My bangs are touching my eyes or like the space beneath my eyes, like right here. I don't like it. My hair used to be super curly when I was little. I had blonde, blonde, and then like curly, curly, curly Goldilocks hair. And then I forced my mom to cut it all off because people would come up and like, it was so curly, like people would just like come up and bounce the curls. And if you knew me as a child, you would know that that was a big no-no. Like I didn't even like people in my family. <laughs> if we were all sitting on the couch and I wanted to get to the other side, I would purposefully crawl underneath the coffee table so I wouldn't have to walk by my aunt. No, also, don't touch other people's kids' hair. Don't touch other people's kids, period. Why is that okay? <laughs> I mean, maybe, probably not nowadays, but when I was little, people would come up and bounce the curls in my hair and I would just be like, <sighs> and my parents would be like, no! 
and then I'd have a meltdown. Let's normalize asking kids for consent before you touch them. Just think before you do things because I forced my mom to cut off all my hair and then it grew back darker and not as curly. And honestly, I'm okay with that. I really like my hair right now. I think people who have like really, really curly hair, respect because the hair care that you have to do is insane respect and it looks really good i don't have the patience for doing my hair i got bangs because i always pull my hair back every single day and bangs make it look like i at least maybe styled my hair even though today they were i woke up and they were like this oh stop 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 i was right 15 14 minutes and 50 seconds pretty good pretty good he is small. I think I missed a row. He's small compared to that one though. Okay, my friends. We're officially about halfway through. I have now made 22 plushies. It is 2.35 p.m. And I have made a pink whale, two purple whales, two dark teal whales, a baby blue, a navy, and a mint. Um, thus bringing us up to 20. Two. Now, I don't really know what I want to make next. I'm thinking either, sorry, I'm resetting them up. The cherries or the peas. Just start working on the food ones because I feel like those would be cute. They could also be ones that people add keychains to. I don't know. I need to figure out a keychain display. I have to figure out my cash situation as well. I have a lot of ones and a lot of 20s, but not a lot of fives and tens. I'm really tired. I didn't stay up too late last night. I don't think so I don't really know why I don't know I'm just like not having to do schoolwork and constantly push myself all the time which is super exciting I'm trying to find the cherry pattern okay I just wrote it down so let's give it a try I crochet a lot of stuff for like Halloween and then like Christmas I just do like ornaments or whatever that I give to my mom for our Christmas tree but like that's it I mean I've made like a couple reindeer I think I did a reindeer pattern test last year I haven't done that much I don't really want to make holiday stuff to bring to just one market I know I want to keep doing markets I actually just signed up for another one that's going to be on January 27th because right now I am unemployed. I, I do a lot of like work for my parents and their small business as well, but I'm unemployed as I don't have like a part-time job. And I think it would be good to have another market in January so that I can keep making stuff and keep doing stuff while I have, you know, like this entire month off. I have to go back to school on the 16th. Even if I didn't cro start crocheting for that market until January 1st, um, I would still have like 16 days. And considering that I have 22 plushies in, oh, in literally 24 hours, I think I'd be fine. It looks like it's gonna be cute. It's like their fourth annual one, which makes me feel good. I like going to ones that have like had a couple years to like have experiences and like know what they're gonna be doing. Also, should I do a different expression on each cherry or should I make them both happy? This is a no so cherry by Amigu World. It's a YouTube tutorial. And yes, I do know I owe you guys a B tutorial i'm thinking of also just writing it i don't know actually do the eyes need to be smaller be honest <laughs> i love asking rhetorical questions i don't like it with the smaller eyes i feel like the eyes also need to go up a row i can embroider like noses i can do noses pretty 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 good mouths girl or guy or they them i don't know if you can even see it because the lighting in here the lighting just outside in general is really bad because it's winter now even though there's no snow which is sad global warming if you don't believe in global warming i mean that's fine i believe in it so okay uh it's catching up to me my hands are super tired 
and it is now 4.42 and I've only made two things. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. 24 items in a little over 24 hours is pretty good. I'll probably take a break because my hands are really tired and maybe I'll find some different things to make. I'm sick of using Burnett Velvet yarn. My hands hurt and this is a really small hook so i'm gonna go eat and find some more things to crochet okay it's officially market day and i failed <laughs> i only made 24 out of my 45 plushies but i got super organized i made a bunch of tags and a bunch of signs last night so i'm not too mad uh, thank you all so much for hanging out with me while I try and market prep. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!